If we want to prevent the emergence of new variants, we not only have to prevent disease, we also have to prevent transmission. A lot depends on whether the wave is driven by variants or driven by strains that we know. If it is driven by variants, then it becomes very difficult to predict what the numbers are likely to be. If it is strains that we know, then the likelihood is that the numbers will actually be low. In fact, I'm actually not very sure about the timing of the third wave or whether we will have one in August or September at all. We know that this is a virus that is dependent on the environment. And I think what we are seeing from certainly other parts of the world is that there may be some seasonal elements to this virus. I think as long as we continue to have a lot of virus replication, the chances of a new variant emerging are very, very high. And the most urgent thing that we can do is protect ourselves from viral replication as much as possible. That only happens if we protect people and make sure that they don't get infected. Now, it's, a, you know, one thing is preventing people from getting sick. And that obviously we have to do because we don't want the healthcare system to be overwhelmed. But if we want to prevent the emergence of new variants, we not only have to prevent disease, we also have to prevent transmission. That where children are concerned, children don't get as sick as adults do. So we do need to protect the children who have comorbidities, you know, go the extra mile for them. But for healthy children, the risks of severe disease are very, very low. Not zero, but low. So I'm all in favor of starting schools and sending children back into schools, but doing it very, very carefully. You have to make sure that all teachers are vaccinated, everybody in the school, all adults who are eligible for vaccination should be vaccinated. Schools should make sure that they have checked that classrooms are not stuffy classrooms, that ventilation is good, that desks can be spaced out, that children are encouraged to wear masks, that the number of children in a classroom is limited. Think about a shift system, think about alternate day schools for bringing children back and a very low tolerance for testing or for telling people, please stay at home if you have symptoms. Because right now, we, you know, post monsoon, getting into winter, this is the time that everybody's going to have respiratory infections.